Greetings! In today's video about making paints, I have a lot of stuff to share. First, I wanted to do a small demo to showcase the three colors in the giveaway. Prussian blue, salmon and gold ochre. I found a reference for a desert landscape. I'm also drawing in this pentallic watercolor sketchbook for the first time. I started with a rough sketch, then roughly protected the frame with Moloto masking fluid. I used a wash of Prussian blue for the sky. Not the best way to showcase the richness of this color, but that's how it looks in the reference. I then worked on the flat ground, using the gold ochre and salmon colors. While that was drying, I worked two puddles of color. A black one for the dunes shade, and a red one for the side in the light. I realized while working with the salmon color that it has a big color shift as it dries. It becomes cooler and lighter. Fortunately, it layers well, so that worked for me. I kept adding until I was happy with the colors. When I was done, the pentallic sketchbook broke on me. I was aware of this problem with their products, but I'm still bummed. I set the sketch aside to dry. More on the primary set. I'm making a quick comparison sheet to show the paints and list their details. The salmon goes on fully opaque and regains a bit of transparency as it dries. It's made with pigment red 101, and that pigment in itself has excellent light fastness. This color has a very noticeable color shift from wet to dry, becoming cooler, more transparent, and losing some of its intensity. The gold ochre goes on semi-opaque and also regains some transparency as it dries. It's made with pigment yellow 42 in its hydrated form. That pigment also has excellent light fastness. This color doesn't really shift as it dries, it remains a beautiful golden yellow. The Prussian blue though so deep in this swatch that it's hard to tell, is fully transparent. It's made with pigment blue 27, 
which has a good to excellent light fastness. This color doesn't really shift as it dries either. Back to the drawing. Since it's now dry, I'm removing the masking fluid. I'm also fixing up the tear in the binding with washi tape. Another thing I wanted to set up is to do a swatch card to test the light fastness of my paints. My lighting conditions are not ideal, so I don't know how it will work, but I have to at least try. I might also ask my friends if I can tape a paper in their window for the sake of science. <laughs> I'm swatching every color I made so far, and then I'm gonna cover half of the paper with some scrap cardboard. Then I'll stick that in my window that gets the most light. On to the actual paint making, I've tweaked my setup again. First, I added an extra protective layer under the plate because I noticed it was wearing out the protective cover on my table. I made the extra layer a piece of vinyl sheet because that's super easy to clean. Since pigment likes to get everywhere, it's important to me to be able to wash everything easily. The paints I'll mix today are apricot and salmon, since my own pans of these paints are not full at all. I've also changed the grinding tool a bit. I noticed an unused spice container in the kitchen and figured I could tack the glass marble onto that. It would be easier to hold and since it's also glass, it's very easy to clean. It's much easier to grind pigment that way. You can also flip it around and put it on the table while you work the rest of your tools. Thank you. 
At this point, I think my tool has reached the maximum of its potential. It works fine to create small quantities of paint. If I want to create more, I need a bigger work surface and a tool with a larger contact area. Since the marble is rounded, only a small surface area is in contact with the plate. With an actual Mueller, the contact surface is much larger, so it works the paint faster. It also allows to work larger quantities of paint at the same time. Incidentally, my glass marble also has a huge flaw in it, and I'm worried it would break apart as I use it. And finally, a reminder about my giveaway, in which I'm giving away this set of three colors, Salmon, Gold Ochre and Prussian Blue. I'll also add in this extra swatch of apricot since I mixed too much of it. To enter the giveaway, check the description box of my previous video in the paint making series. I'll put a link to that video in this description box. Thank you for watching and have a great day!